entrepreneurs and professionals. What if you could access the hidden power of your brain to reprogram your mind to create belief to achieve any goal that you wanted? Would it be useful for you? If it is, watch this video. This video will share with you the hidden power in our minds and how you and I can use that to reprogram ourselves to create beliefs to be able to be focused to reach any goals that we may want to. If you find this video useful, send me a message over Messenger with the words, send me PDF, and I will send you a Google Doc with practices that you should be implementing on your daily life so that you can continue to strengthen your mindset to reach your public speaking goals, leadership, and business goals. In this video, I will share with you important information, how you can use the brain and the various frequencies that you have so that you can reprogram your mind to be able to believe and access the power to be able to reprogram your mind and create belief to stay focused and reach your goals. As I said, many people have a lot of problems staying focused, staying disciplined, and reaching their goals. But at the core of it all is the lack of belief. How do we believe that we can achieve a goal when it looks so far in the horizon? That's the main task. How can we produce belief? If we can figure that out, then everything will fall into place as long as you are willing to work hard and stay focused on your goals. So let's talk about this real quick. There are limiting beliefs that all of us have to deal with. Now, what are limiting beliefs? Are beliefs that limit you. These are the types of beliefs that come from way back when you were a child and you were growing up and your parents, your family, you heard them say certain things that went into your brain and were filed away in the emotional cabinet, in the experience cabinet. And because of that, in the subconscious mind, it created a belief that today affects the way that you think and affects the possibilities that you think you can achieve. For example, if you kept hearing when you were a child, money doesn't grow on trees. If you kept hearing that expression, now when you grow, when you grow now as an adult, you probably think that money is hard to get and that you can, it's very difficult to get money when you go out there. So that is a limiting belief. A limiting belief is difficult to deal with because you don't know that it's there. It comes from the subconscious mind. It's already wired into your mindset and it affects the way that you think and the way that you perceive the world. When it comes to using the hidden power of your mind, dealing with limiting beliefs is one of the main tasks if we know and if we learn how to use this system to be able to condition our minds to be able to reach our goals. So to do that, you and I must understand brain frequencies. If you understand what the different brain frequencies do and how they affect your behavior, then you can use some of them to be able to reach your goals and condition your mind to believe that it's possible to reach those goals. So let's cover some of those brain frequencies. Now you may ask, what is a brain frequency? I'm gonna put it in a very simple term. There are brain cells that when they communicate with each other, they shoot a little impulse of energy or impulse of electricity. They fire up and then they connect to the next one. And then the next one fires up a little electricity and connects to the next one. When the, brain free, when the brain cells start firing in unison as a group, they get into a rhythm. And when they start firing as a group, that is called a brain frequency. And we use brain frequencies for different tasks that we do all the time. So let's cover the first one. The first brain frequency that we must understand is the beta frequency. Beta frequency is the brain frequency that you and I are using right now. When we are woken up in consciousness, when we are using our logic, when we are using analytical thinking. Most of the day when we are functioning, that is the brain frequency that we are on, the beta frequency. The next one is the alpha frequency, which somehow called it the genius frequency. The alpha frequency is wakeful rest. 
meditation or relax. This is the frequency that many have claimed gives access to creative thinking. It's the frequency that gives you this relaxed state and you can access other ideas that you cannot access when you are on the beta frequency. Have you ever been just thinking and you stay just looking at the air, kind of daydreaming? That's the alpha frequency. Oh, sorry, I, I went into the alpha frequency. Back to the training. So, the alpha frequency is also when you are laying on your bed at night, for example, and you're thinking about your problems, you have your eyes closed, and sometimes you come up with ideas of what to do about your problems, that's the alpha frequency. It's a frequency that can help us explore different options about problems and issues and challenges that we may have. I do have a problem sometimes laying, since I know about the alpha frequency, it is one of my habits to, uh, to think at night when I'm about to fall asleep, think about things that I want to do. And I can come up with great ideas for my trainings. I've done it many times. So even, even Edison used to put himself to fall. To us. Even Thomas Edison used to lay down and relax as if he was falling asleep. And right before he was falling asleep, he would have an alarm to wake him up. Just so that he would stay on the alpha frequency. That's why they call it the genius frequency. The next frequency is the theta frequency. The theta frequency is sleep, deep relaxation, and is the frequency that most of us are on when we are between zero and six years old. Now, this is key here. It has been said that by the time a child is five years old, they have acquired most of the beliefs that will affect them for the rest of their lives. And that's where some of the limiting beliefs come from, from those years. Because as a theta frequency, because when you are in the theta frequency, you are constantly absorbing the information from the outside world. And there is limited contact going back into the external world. So you are like a sponge, just taking it in, taking it in and taking it in. That's why zero to six years old of age is when we acquire a lot of the beliefs and experiences that will affect us for the rest of our lives. The last frequency that we need to know is the delta frequency, which is deep sleep where the rebuilding of ourselves occurs and the unknown occurs because frankly we still don't understand everything that happens when we are in that delta frequency scientists have studied the brain and what is going on and it's still a mystery some of it so when you think about these different frequencies you gotta remember that alpha frequency is a great frequency for you to explore different options to come up with creative ideas to tackle any new projects or even to develop trainings, maybe develop a talk if you're a public speaker. It's a great frequency to just close your eyes and relax, okay? Now, this is the frequency though that we must access to directly reprogram our brain and reprogram our subconscious mind. Can you guess which frequency that would be? That's right. The theta frequency. Theta frequency. It says sleep because you can't fall asleep, but it's also deep relaxation. When you go into a meditation mode or visualization, you close your eyes, you relax your body, and then you just picture your dream life. Picture reaching your goals. Picture how it will feel to get there. Picture every detail, where you are at, what you are wearing, what you are doing, how people are looking at you, what the uh, achievement is. When you picture all that constantly in a deep, relaxed state, now you are accessing the theta frequency of the brain. And as such, you get to reprogram directly your subconscious mind. So if you are dealing with any limiting beliefs, and how do you know that you are dealing with the limiting beliefs? Because if you are working really hard in any area of your life and you're not getting the results that you want, even though you're working hard, there is a limiting belief behind there 
holding your success or stopping you from succeeding. And the best way to deal with a limiting beliefs, which is something that you can't see and you can necessarily realize is there, is by reprogramming your subconscious mind using the theta frequency. All you gotta do is put yourself in a deep relaxed state and visualize that which you intend to achieve with every detail, with every outcome that possibly you can think of, every emotion that you could feel, and all that together, accessing that theta frequency does reprogram the subconscious mind. And it's not something that will happen from today to tomorrow, but if you consistently make it a habit to do that every day, meditate, be, meditate between five to 10 minutes, visualizing all that, it will make an impact in the long run. Believe me, it will. And so what you wanna do is maybe write your affirmations. You can write your affirmations in your own voice using your iPhone. Then you can play maybe some binaural beats or some relaxing music in the background from YouTube. And then as you play the music, you take your phone and you record your own affirmations. Or you can record a description of what a perfect day will look like and feel like if you had your dream life in place. So you read it all, you describe it, where you are at, what you're doing, etc. right? And then at night, right before you go to sleep, you play that as you're going to sleep and let that go right into your brain and let it settle. Let it affect you the entire night. Because as you remember, if you watch a horror movie and then you have a nightmare, it's because that's what you're watching when you before you go to sleep. So the brain simmers with all that the entire night. So how about letting your brain be inundated with your dreams? That's all you have to do. Reprogram your subconscious mind to be focused and disciplined to get closer to your dreams and goals in public speaking, leadership, and business. So if you find this, if you found this video useful, send me a message, send me PDF, and I will send you the Google Doc. And up until then, see you at the top where the champions belong.